MEPs in the European Parliament debated for the first time together this latest escalating war between Hamas and Israel. The discussion was dominated with varying opinions on Israel's right to defend itself and Palestinian and Israeli civilians' right to be protected under international humanitarian law. President of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, who has been accused by member states and others of being too one-sided when it comes to the rights of citizens on both sides, insists there is no contradiction in her position. Israel has the right to self-defense in line with international law. Hamas are terrorists and the Palestinian people are also suffering from that terror and we have to support them. And there is no contradiction in standing in solidarity with Israel and acting on the humanitarian needs of the Palestinian people. It's been 11 days since Hamas militants massacred around 2,000 Israeli civilians and continues to hold 200 hostage, while over 3,500 Palestinians, a quarter of them children, have been killed by Israel in response. The EU, meanwhile, has been struggling to speak with one coherent voice. These MEPs say the EU is not credible unless it can agree on some basic facts. Condemn the attack of a terrorist organization, Hamas. Of course, protect innocent civilians. Of course, naturally provide humanitarian aid. But we need to recognize Israel's right, its unequivocal right to self-defense. And yes, in accordance with international humanitarian law. And of course, call for the hostages to be released unconditionally and immediately. That's the common message. And you know what? If we can't unite around that common message, then frankly, shame on us. Gaza, it's a kind of open air prison. And it used to be for the last years like it is now. So we have to be conscious of that. And even the last six months' events of the far-right government of Netanyahu uh, are not helping us, uh, helping us to understand what's the position of the uh, Israel authorities right now. Meanwhile, across Europe and the United States, there are fears that countries like Iran and Russia will use the opportunity of this latest armed conflict as a reason to sow even more tensions. EU sources are saying that Russia is already painting the European Union as a hypocrite for not defending equally the rights of Palestinian civilians with those of Israelis, just like they did with Ukraine. Shona Murray, Euronews, Strasbourg.